Hi, boys and girls. How you doing? So good to see you. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Kids for Truth lesson. We are moving into a brand new section, brand new theme called God's Purpose for His Children. We are all done with God's gift of salvation. Um, we're, we're not going to talk about it anymore. And the verses that we're memorizing now from our truth book are from our next unit, our next theme, number 10, on God's purpose for his children. And this is lesson number one of theme number 10. Okay, and lesson number one has to do with why God created you or what is your purpose for living. Before we get into that, though, I want to give a quick shout out to Gabe and Olivia Choka for working hard on their verses at home. Their parents send me videos and several of them, and they're working hard to uh, finish up God's gift of salvation and even reciting verses that they that they missed from previous weeks when they were out of town. So good job, Gabe and Olivia. Keep up the good work. And everybody else, keep working hard too. So when you're ready to recite a verse to me, just call me up or have your parents record you saying it and then have them send it to me. So uh, good job on that. Okay, so um, I've got a couple things here that I'm going to show you, and I want you to tell me the purpose of those things, all right, why we use them, all right? So here's the first one, ready? This one right here. What is this? Okay, it's a pen. What is the purpose of a pen? To write, okay? That's the purpose. That's why we use a pen. How about the purpose of this? Flashlight. What's the purpose of a flashlight? To shine on things to be able to see things better all right what is the purpose of this a shoe to be able to walk places right and protect your feet keep your feet warm or keep them dry how about this one what is the purpose of this cell phone that's right to make phone calls and last one what is the purpose of this money to buy things, that's right, or to pay for things. Well, what is the purpose of your life? You ever thought about that? Why you're alive? Why you're here? Why did God make you? Why do you wake up every morning? Well, man, you, me, all mankind, every person on the, on the earth really has one purpose. And our number one purpose in life, the reason why God made us and, and allows us to keep living each day, is to glorify him to glorify God. We'll talk about more uh, in, in depth what that means to glorify God. Basically, what it means is to to promote God and to to honor Him with our life and to help people see God in a better way, to point people to, to Jesus. That's what it means to glorify God. So, how are you doing at that purpose? Well. When you became a Christian, which I hope that you are a Christian, again, how do we become a Christian? By repenting, turning from our sin, and faith, believing, trusting that Jesus died on the cross for you and for me. Have you repented of your sins and trusted in Jesus Christ as your Savior? I hope that you have. And if not, today can be the day that you do that. Talk to your mom and dad. Make sure you know that you're saved. That Jesus Christ has saved you from your sins. That your faith, your trust is in him alone as your only way to be saved. Once you do that, you start out as a little itty bitty baby Christian. But hopefully you don't stay a little itty bitty baby Christian your whole life, right? Hopefully you're going to get bigger uh, in your faith. You're going to grow spiritually. Now, I'm not talking about getting bigger, like taller, okay? So you're not the same size. You're not the same size that you were when you were born, right? You've gotten bigger. Um, you're not the same person that you were before uh, when you were born. You, um, you like different things now, or you've gotten even smarter since the day you were born. Like, for instance, I have an outfit here, a little baby outfit called a onesie. Most of you at home probably fit in this outfit when you were, were born in the hospital. But can you wear this outfit now? Would you be able to fit in it now? No, that'd be silly. It'd be too small. Um, how about this one? See this? Baby toy? 
when you were a baby, this would be something that you would love to play with. You chew on it. You play with it. You like the rattling noise. Move these little pieces around. And as a baby, you love this toy. But do you think you'd like to play with this now? <laughs> Probably not. There's lots of other toys that you like to play, play with now. That's because you've grown up. Okay, you've grown out of the outfits, you've grown out of the toys, you've gotten smarter and bigger, so there's things that you do more for your age. You've grown up. Well, as Christians, in order to glorify God, we need to grow up in our faith. We don't want to do little itty-bitty baby Christian things our whole life. We want to be maturing and growing up in our faith. And there's a big Bible word that I want to teach you that describes this idea of growing up in our faith, growing up spiritually, becoming stronger in our faith as a Christian. And the word is, ready? Sanctification. Can you say that word with me? Ready? Sanctification. Big word, but basically what it means is becoming less and less like sin in the world and more and more like Jesus Christ every day. We're growing in our faith. We're growing up. Not being a, a little itty bitty baby Christian anymore. Every day we're learning more about Jesus. We're becoming more about more and more like Jesus. We are growing in our faith and love for God. Now, be careful. I'm not saying that every day we're getting closer and closer to God. We're working our way to heaven. I'm not saying that at all. Okay, we cannot work our way to heaven. But what we should be doing as Christians is sinning less and honoring God more, glorifying God more with what we, do, with what we say and do. That's what the Christian life is, sanctification. This is the process of God changing us to be more and more like Jesus every day and less and less like sin in the world. And that happens through different ways. We'll talk about this more in weeks to come. But the biggest way is through God's word, the Bible. God's word changing you from the inside out, reading God's word, read your Bible, pray every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. That's not talking about growing like taller and stronger. The way you grow taller and stronger as, as a child is by getting good rest and exercise and get, eating your fruits and vegetables, right? But the way we grow spiritually is, is through God's word, the way we grow up. Another way is through God's Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit of God changes us from the inside out. Another way is is being is surrounding ourselves with with godly people who want us to be like Jesus and push us to be more like Christ and to do right. But we'll talk about more of that in in weeks to come. But today we're really talking about one thing. God made you to glorify Him. And the way we do that is by being more like Jesus Christ, becoming more and more like Him every day, growing up in our faith, sanctification. What's the word again? Sanctification. Okay. Becoming less and less like sin in the world, living for ourselves less, and becoming more and more like Jesus every day. It's a process. It takes your whole life. So let's look at a Bible verse about this. Okay? Draw swords. The verse is Romans 8.29. Say it. Romans 8.29. Ready? Draw swords and charge. Try to beat me. Try to beat Pastor Josh. Romans. New Testament, Romans 8, 29. Oh man, I'm going slow today. Romans 8, 29. Wow, this is taking Pastor Josh a really long time on this one. Romans 8, 29. You guys probably, I got it. You guys probably all beat me on that one. Romans 8, 29. Romans 8, 29. For, who, for those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. So God planned for us Christians to be conformed or changed into the image of his son or transformed. You, you've ever heard of transformers? These robots that turn into cars and the cars that can turn into robots? They transform, they change. Well, the Christian life is us being changed, transformed, conformed, according to this verse, to be more like the image of his son, who is Jesus Christ. 
So the final image that God wants us coming out looking like is Jesus Christ. By the end of our Christian life, after many, many, many years of being saved and, and reading God's word and growing in our faith and, and becoming less and less like the world and more and more like Jesus Christ, sanctification, after all those years, the, the day we die and go to heaven, we should be looking more and more like Jesus Christ. Our life, what we say, what we do, how we live, our actions, our reactions should be more like Jesus every day. This is sanctification. This is why God made you. After we get saved, we're not just supposed to sit and twiddle our thumbs and wait around and do nothing. Okay, God, I'm ready to go to heaven. I got saved. Uh, I'm ready for Jesus to come back and take me home. We're not just supposed to sit around and do nothing. We're supposed to be accomplishing our purpose, and our purpose is to glorify God. And the way we do that is by growing up in our faith, becoming more like Jesus every day. And how does that happen? Through His Word. So how are you doing at this? How are you doing at becoming more like Jesus? How are you doing at saying less, uh, saying more and more no to sin, sinning less, and more yes to God, being more like him every day. How are you doing at that? Do you desire to follow God? Do you desire to live for him? Are you in his word every day? Are you trying to read your Bible? Do you enjoy spending time with God? These are all things that help us become more like Jesus, help us accomplish our purpose in life, to glorify him. Let God work in your life. Let God change you from the inside out. Let God help you grow up spiritually. You know, I think of a, an ice sculptor. There are some men, women too, that are really good at taking a big block of ice, big, ugly, dark block of ice, and then shaving it, cutting some off here and there, and changing it, shaping it into a beautiful, ice sculptor so they start with this nasty just blah, block of ice and after they chisel at it and shape it and sh shave here and there it comes out looking like a beautiful dolphin or a swan maybe you've seen it before and god doing this sort of the same thing with us it takes a whole life lifelong process to tap for it to happen but he's he's shaving off a little bit here and and helping us get rid of sin in this in this area and, and to help him to be, help us to be like Jesus in this area and and the final image that comes out we come out looking like at the end of our life is Jesus that's why God made you be like him to strive to live to walk to talk to act like Jesus that's what it means to glorify him so now you know. Now you know what your purpose is in life. Now you know why your heart's beating right now. Now you know why you are existing, why you are alive, why every day, what you should be trying to accomplish every day when you wake up. It's not living for yourself. It's not playing your games and doing the fun things that you want to do all day. That's not why God made you. God made you. God created you. God gave you a purpose. And that purpose is to glorify him. Be like him, to try to live like Jesus lived. Let him change you from the inside out. And every day, this is our prayer. So what you can do is get in God's word. First of all, make sure you know you're saved. Secondly, get in God's word and pray every day and say, God, be working in my life. Change me, God, from the inside out to be more and more like Jesus. Help me to grow up spiritually. I don't know about you, but I don't want to stay a little itty-bitty baby Christian my whole life. I want to be strong in my faith. I want to, I want to be strong in my love and for God. I want that to be increasing every day. And I hope that's the same prayer that you have as well. I'm excited about our new theme, God's purpose for his children, why God made us, why we're here. And for, for the next eight weeks, we're going to be talking about that. So. Stay tuned for next week. Look forward to it. And hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Thanks for watching today. I miss you guys. And I'll see you soon. All right. Bye-bye.